Hi, boys and girls. Can you believe it's my last read aloud of the year to you? That makes me both happy because I'm proud of you and we're ending up the school year this week and you guys are going to go on and be so successful in third grade and fourth grade. But it also makes me sad because I'm really going to miss you guys. I'm going to miss reading to you. I already miss hearing your laughs and seeing your smiles when we read together. But I hope you will enjoy this one last read aloud. I bet you can guess what it is because it's my favorite book character. Um, it is a final Skippy John Jones. And this is Skippy John Jones, Cirque de Ole. Be ready to laugh. Skippy John Jones was a real high wire Henry. And that made his mama as worried as a worm in a wading pool. Oh my fleas, wailed Mama Junebug Jones. Come down from that wire before you break all your bones. He can't hear you, sang his sisters, Jujubee, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo. Cause Skippy's up in Squirrely World. The girls were right. The kitty boy was performing tail tingling tricks on the telephone wire above them. That's amazing, gushed the girls. He should join the circus. Circus berserkus, groaned Mama. I'm calling the fire department. Fire department, repeated Jilly Boo. Skippy's not on fire. He's on wire. But before June but Mama Junebug Jones could press a button, the kitty boy did a triple spin backflip dive right into Mama's apron pocket. That was really good for a chihuahua, said Jujubee. The word is chihuahua, said Mama, frazzled. And he is not that. Skippy John Jones is a... Siamese cat. Then she lugged her catch of the day back to his room for a big time out and a big talk. What did you think you were doing up there? You and those squirrels on a wire in midair. What if you tripped and fell on your head? You'd have to spend months in a hospital bed. Then as Junebug Jones pawed at her hives, she let the truth slip out about cats and nine lives. I wish we had nine, but we only have one. So think about that, my Siamese son. Then she closed the door. Look how mad he is. The kitty boy thinking was thinking all right about bouncing on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I don't have nine lives, so what's the big deal? Hey, did I just see flies? Indeed, he did, and he chased one over to his mirror. What's he going to see in the mirror? Where he ate it. Holy snackito, exclaimed the kitty boy. Love them crunchies. Then he looked into the mirror, and using his very best Spanish accent, he said, if I have one, but one life to live, muchacho, let me live it as a chihuahua. In less time than it takes a flea to fly to Florida, Skippy John Jones put together a fine costume while he sang in a muy, muy soft voice. Okay, now this is going to be kind of different because we're not all together. But when I point at you, you have to do your... Are you ready? Hands together. Here we go. Oh, my name is Skipito Frisquito. And I'm one handsome daredevil Ito. I'm physically fit, every part, every bit, just right for a circus Puchito. In the meantime, over in the sewing nook, Mama was attempting to have a sensible conversation with the girls. Where's Jilly Boo's tutu? asked Mama. The Chihuahua has the tutu, replied Jujubee. Whatever for? asked Mama. Because Chihuahuas wear tutus, said Jezebel. 
and cows wear moo moo moos, added Jujube. And boo boos wear band aids, continued Jezebel. And I need a nap, moaned Mama. But the Chihuahua wasn't thinking of tutus, moo moos, or boo boos. He was thinking of flying through the air with the greatest of fleas, just like the dog on a flying trapeze. Until thump, he planted his paw in a perfecto landing on the turf outside the Cirque du Ole! shouted his amigos, Los Chimichangos. Hola! hollered back Skipito for Skeeto, the great acrobatito, to his barking buddies. Hold your ponies, papitos, declared Poquito Tito, the smallest of the small ones. Have you grown a bigote? No, I did not grow a mustache, Ito, answered the gatito. It's just part of my costume. Bueno, said Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones, because we need you to grow something muchos más importante. But what can be more important than a mustache, muchachos, asked Skipito. What can be more important than a mustache? Los musculos, said all the papitos. Not the lumpitos, giant ticos, declared Skipito. Oh, si, sí, muchacho, said Piquito Tito. The muscles. Let's see your muscles. Oh, are they big and strong? Then Don Diego pulled an old circus poster out of his right ear and let it unroll. Now do you get it, dude? It says, the first time in America, Tingling Brothers and Cirque du Ole presents the tiny, trembling tower of power. And look who's on the bottom. It's Skipito. Oh, I get it all right, said Skipito. It means I am low dog on the totem pole. This made the chihuahuas twist and shout. You ready to do your claps? Here we go. Yes, oh yes, that's right, Skipito. Your cabeza is just what we need -o. And your muscles must grow just in time for the show or else we'll all crumble ito. Then all the peritos snuck under the skirts of the big dog. Whoop, my book's kind of falling apart. I've read it too much. First, the muchachos tippy toed by the cabalista practicing on her pony. The pig, isn't it? Then they slipped past the payeso, pulling his paper popping puppy through his paces. But it wasn't until they reached the elefante that the papitos had to worry. Watch your step, amigos, warned Poquito Tito. We are but pulgas to her. We are not fleas, said Skipito. We are chihuahuas. And that wasn't all the doggies had to watch out for. They saw leones and tigras and osos. Oh, my. Oh, leones, tigras, osos. Oh my. But the most dangerous animal of all lay sleeping like a baby in his cage. Let's take a peek, Papitos. Let's just take his traha, suggested Popito Tito. Not his costume, declared Skipito, alarmed. Por qué? Because it will look mucho mejor on you, senor. Then they raced like rabbits over to their dressing room. But the circus waits for no dog. So with the speed of a spitball, the Puchitos change their Chico into a world-class circus, Pero con musculos. First, they gave him a vitamina. Then they pulled on his new traje. It's too big, complained the gatito. No worries, woofed Don Diego. We will pump you up. And pump the pair.
Paros did singing. Ready to clap together? Here we go. Um papa lum papa lido will give you the muscles you need o cause strong you must be for the triple TP so we don't all go boom tumbalito. Then it was the moment of truth as they floated Skipito out under the big top. Like they've pumped him full. Oop, they bumped him full of air, haven't they? Peros poured out from every point and piled on top of Skipito's grande cabeza. It's his big head. Up, up, up they climbed until they formed a perfecto tower of tiny, dribbling chihuahuas. Look at the teeny tiny one up top. And beneath the tower stood the power, tough and shaky as five day jello. But just as the pups were about to make circus history, Putsy Strongaboot, the strong dog, strutted out into the center ring and bit the behind of his very own trahe, his costume. Ole! shouted the crowd. Oh no, cried Scipito as the tiny trembling tower of power tumbled from his head. I love this dog's face. He's like, ah, ta-da, blasted. La banda as Scipito flew into the rafters like a punctured balloon. Woohoo! hooted the crowd as the gatito caught hold of El Trapicio. Then he flew through the air with the greatest a squeeze. The brave little cat on the flying trapeze, but just as he reached the highest point, Scipio let go and dazzled the audience again with a double twirly squirrely twist onto the tightrope. But the type rope acted just like a slingshot and thwap! It sent Skipito up, up, up to the tippy top of the tent, then shoo, down, down, down he dove, cabeza first into the cotton candy kitten ball cannon. Where Puch Putsy Strongaboot, the strong dog, was waiting to light the fuse. Drum roll, por favor, order Don Diego. Let me do my drum roll. Then kaboom! El Skipito Fresquito, the great acrobatito, blasted out of the circus, out of his closet, and right out of his room. Smack a doodle doo! Shouted the kitty boy as he collided with his mama's head. Wow! Exclaimed Jezebel. Where did he come from? He came from the circus, silly," said Jelly Boo. Later that night, after a piece of maple mouse pie, the kitty boy made up a rhyme just for his mama and delivered it with a most sincere bounce. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, but you're the bee's knees because you're cooking and smoking. Hey, did I just see fleas, Ask Mama, beginning to scratch. Circus fleas, replied the kitty boy proudly. Circus berserkus, muttered, ma muttered Mama. Get your collars out, kittens. It's going to be an itchy night. I hope you enjoyed that last Skippy John Jones read. You know, uh, there are some books that no matter how old you get, you still love them. Skippy John Jones is that kind of book for me. I love how funny they are. They always make me laugh and they make me smile. I hope it did that for you today. I hope you have a great afternoon. And if I don't see you again, I hope you have a wonderful summer. And I'll see you when we're all back together again at Owl Creek. Love you guys.